A special panel discussed changing age statistics with members of the Brainerd and Baxter communities, as well as the challenges and opportunities that will come with an approaching aging boom. Our Logan Gay has more. The communities of Brainerd and Baxter are in for a big shift in their demographics. We're going to be surprised at the numbers of people that wind up being in that senior, what we term senior citizen uh, category, right? That number from 65 on up. They're going to begin exceeding the school age children. And we have to get ready for that and for the implications that means on the labor force. This big shift has many community members wondering if the Brainerd Lakes area is ready for it. The change is probably, uh, you know, probably more abrupt than many of us realize, you know, because, uh, again, the numbers that were revealed this evening suggest we've got big numbers coming soon. Although some talked about way out to 2060, but we're going to be seeing and we are already seeing quite a number of this aging population settling right here. With the projection that more people than ever will choose to retire to the Brainerd Lakes area, the surrounding cities are facing a challenge on how to address their emerging needs. Many of these people are in very good shape yet, you know, and, and they want recreational opportunities, right? They want job opportunities, you know, social opportunities, you know, so that they're not just stuck in their homes. And so there's a real challenge ahead, I think, for the, the cities and the counties to address. One of the biggest problems that the aging community is facing is finding adequate housing and health care. The biggest struggle is um, being able to have housing for um, seniors and um, also not in addition to having the housing, uh, what do we do when the baby boomers um, are no longer with us and we have the built up facilities. Because this is an ongoing issue, they plan to host more forums in the future. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The aging boom event was free to the public. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.